biggest news of the day comes out of Cincinnati. Andy Dalton was released Thursday morning. He was due $17.5 million in 2020. And that is no longer the case as the Bengals are moving forward with Joe Burrow as their starting quarterback. Not that it wasn't pretty evident at this point, but Dalton was a candidate to be traded uh, with multiple teams having interest in him supposedly throughout the offseason. But now they don't have to deal with that headache anymore. The Bengals at least uh, deal with the, the contract and the money. They just decided to move on at, at this point and just do what's best for the team. Uh, and probably what's best for, for Andy Dalton as well. And now he has the option of choosing uh, which organization he wants to play for in 2020. So the question is, where is he going to land? We believe that Dalton is still a very good player and he can still play in this league. And the the lack of success that the Bengals had was not on Andy Dalton by any means. I mean, probably some here and there, but the lack of talent around him um, had a big factor in uh, him losing his job in 2020. So we narrowed down five specific teams that he has a possibility of playing for in 2020. Now, if it's up to us, we think that he's capable of playing for all 32 teams. Maybe not as a starter for all 32 teams, but he could be a coveted backup. And that's what we're going to talk about with these five teams that we're going to mention. Uh, two of these teams are, are organizations that he could be the potential starter in 2020. Another couple teams are, uh, he could be a backup for these teams, but more so a coveted backup, like a team that desperately needs a backup quarterback. And then the last team that we're going to mention is actually a wild card team, which might be kind of crazy, but you know, I, I'll give my ex explanation on why I believe that he's going to land with these five teams. So starting off with the first team on this list, this isn't in, in any order. This isn't based off a of priority in which he's going to land. It's just completely random. Uh, a team that he has a potential to be a starter for, obviously, the New England Patriots. And this is pretty evident at this point that Dalton has been a topic of interest for the Patriots for some time. Uh, supposedly, there were rumors out there during the, the free agency period that the Patriots were interested in trading for Andy Dalton, but uh, nothing came through. So the reason why Dalton would be a good fit for the Patriots is because Bill Belichick, he's not so much concerned about your physical talent and how much of a natural athlete you are. Just get the ball out quick. Just make your quick reads. If you're an intelligent guy, don't make mistakes. You will be good for that offense. And that's exactly what Andy Dalton can do for the New England Patriots. Another potential landing spot that we have, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And this is mainly because Gardner Mitchell is the quarterback. Other than that, you don't really have anyone else. You got rid of Nick Foles, decided to move on with him. If you sign Andy Dalton to a veteran minimum, something that Jameis Winston uh, accepted for the New Orleans Saints, you could bring in a veteran to back up Gardner Minshew. So if Minshew is your guy, and if Jacksonville has nothing but all the trust in the world for Gardner Minshew, cool, go ahead and start him. But the moment that he starts to fail, Dalton would be... Uh, phenomenal for the Jaguars if they were to get him. Not only that, but from 2011 to 2013, the offensive coordinator for the Cincinnati Bengals when Marvin Lewis was the head coach was Jay Gruden. And currently, the offensive coordinator for the Jacksonville Jaguars is Jay Gruden. So it makes a lot of sense uh, for Dalton to come in and potentially compete with Gardner Minshew for that starting job. So the next two teams that we're going to mention are spots where he could be a coveted backup in the NFL. Like we mentioned earlier, he could be a backup for all 32 teams in the NFL. Well, 31 since the Bengals got rid of him. But a coveted backup means that a team that was in desperate, desperate need of a backup quarterback, as shown in 2019, and the first team that we want to mention, the New York Jets, because they need a backup quarterback pretty bad. Who do I think is better, Sam Darnold or Andy Dalton? I don't know. That's for you guys to decide. But I think that they're dead set in starting Sam Darnold. Dalton's not going to take his job. But if you look at the time that Darnold was out with Mono, 0-3 record with Trevor Simeon and Luke Falk starting those games. So they need some depth at that quarterback position. And Dalton could be the guy that comes in just like in 2018. Josh McCown was that veteran that helped out Sam Darnold and was that insurance policy. Dalton could be that same guy for the New York Jets. And if Darnold were to ever get hurt, who knows? 
Dalton could come in and do some pretty good things. The fourth team that we want to mention, another team where he would be a coveted backup, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, you look at Mason Rudolph, you look at Devlin Hodges. When Big Ben came out and they came in, they didn't really do much with that offense. So Dalton coming in with the experience that he has, a smart, intelligent mind, can be a good backup for Ben Roethlisberger. Now, Ben Roethlisberger is in his late 30s, Dalton more so in his early 30s. So not that far apart in age difference, but you're not really taking a quarterback to be your future of the franchise. You're taking a quarterback that can step in once Big Ben were to get hurt. But if you look at the history, the injury history of Ben Roethlisberger, three out of the last five seasons, he hasn't completed all 16 games. So bringing in Dalton for Mike Tomlin would be huge uh, for some depth at quarterback. The last team that we're going to mention is uh, it's a wild card team, and it's probably not going to happen. So don't get upset with me mentioning this. But I just wanted to have some fun and make your heads turn, make you guys think a little bit. Like, what if Andy Dalton were to get signed by the Dallas Cowboys? It's pretty wild to think, but let me explain. So the Cowboys have had a lot of contract uh, disputes with Dak Prescott. I mean, you sign Ezekiel Elliott, your franchise running back. You sign a franchise wide receiver and Amari Cooper, both those guys to a long-term deal. What's the hesitation with Dak Prescott? Phenomenal season in 2019. He's proved that he can stay healthy on the field, started all 16 games in his career. But the thing is, they just haven't settled on an agreement. Is it 30 million, 40 million, 34.5 million a year? We just don't know yet. So if I were Jerry Jones, I would just sign Dak Prescott and not even think about Andy Dalton. I think Prescott is my franchise quarterback, but I'm not Jerry Jones and I don't know what he's thinking. And I think maybe if I had to guess what he was thinking, I think it's going to cross his mind that Andy Dalton could be a quarterback in Dallas. If it's taken you this long to to crunch the numbers and come out with a, a deal for Dak Prescott, what makes you think that they're just hesitant to re-signing him because they're not sure if he's going to be the franchise quarterback? It's wild, and like I said, it probably will never happen, but it's just fun to think about. But definitely leave your thoughts in your comments down below. Where do you think Andy Dalton is landing in 2020? Comment, interact with us, and let us know your thoughts. 